boom, boom. Talking to a backup boom, boom, mic. Boom, 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 boom. I got a mic. Talking Still to a backup. Business. There you go, Simon. What's that? Hang on, I got you, dog. I got your business card right here. Welcome back. Happy 2020, you dirty sons of bitches. This is the absolutely unnecessary podcast, and we're keeping it super unnecessary by going back to the year 2019. This is going to be a year in review, and today we've got Sam with us. Sam straight from Africa. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why you do this accent. And uh, with us again is Raja. We're going to be going over what is coming forward for them this year. But first, we want to take a look back in the uh, in the year that was 2019. Simon, what's up, dog? Yeah, not much. But for actually, let's go like the fin uh, the finish of 2019. We'll talk about that one first. The like finish the, of 2019, like the New Year's. I thought he was going to go African yeah, accent. Yeah, the yeah. finish. finish uh, <laughs> What's up? I thought he was going African accent. For yeah, but I do African. Before we jump in, before we jump into uh, to all the awesome fights that ended the year, yeah. I want to make a big thing, uh, guys. Australia is on fire right now, and. Uh, there's a lot of people that are being put out, uh, their houses, their homes. Some people have lost their lives. Um, tons and tons and tons. I think it's up over a billion uh, different animals have uh, lost their lives now. So Absolute being the awesome group of people that there are that train here and everything, we are doing a bushfire crisis charity double seminar. Gi and no gi. It's going to be out at Absolute MMA St. Kilda Sunday, the 12th of January from 1 p.m. Guys, there's a $50 minimum donation. Look, $50 for the guys that are going to be out there. It's not shit. No. And you know what? Even if it was shit, it's going to a great Big cause. cause. Yeah. Uh, all of these proceeds are going to be going to the Bendigo Bank, and it's going to uh, go straight out to the people who can use this, frighten these fires on the front line. This shit's serious. There is, um, I mean, like, uh, anybody who's living in Melbourne right now, you see the smoke. Anybody who's anywhere else in Oz, Feeling the smoke. I'm sure these fires are touching everybody. Um, our thoughts as a podcast crew here and as a gym are with everybody that's been affected. And uh, hopefully we get some fucking rain and get this shit taken care of soon. Yeah. Uh, so the other, like, so yeah, uh, thanks for that, Jake. And all that. But uh, the other thing that we've got to mention too in terms of uh, uh, so some worthy causes is uh, Cy who got injured over in uh Bangkok, uh, well, it's probably like four and a half months ago now, yeah. is actually significantly improved of this late. So, outstanding news. Which is fantastic yeah. news, but now we're in the midst of trying to get him home. So getting yep. a uh, commercial medical transport from Thailand is a very expensive process. What is it uh, What is it running to get him home? Uh, the, the just the cost, it's just under 60, or about 60,000. $60,000. So, so. Um, we will be having a number of fundraising events across both uh, our gym and a couple of the sort of partner gyms because Cy was pretty well liked and trained yeah. across the place at lots of different places. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, we'll keep an eye on our web page and Facebook page for the events coming up. We've also got some T-shirts. You can get a, uh, can you get a shot on this up there for yeah. the when we when we go live. Get a shot of the T-shirt. Yeah. So we've got those T-shirts. We'll put them up. Sort of the links to buy them on the GoFundMe page. Yeah. And it'll just be like a minimum donation. Then you'll get a T-shirt as well. But we'll have a range of different events and auctions. There's a lot of guys willing to sort of help. And uh, so keep an eye on our um, Facebook page and guys, and guys, for like, stuff to help. Sorry. This is another one, man. Like this kid. This kid's starting to show a little bit of signs of movement and everything. I mean, this is this is great. And it was un probably unpredicted that this was going to happen. So if you got yeah. any extra change in your pocket, toss yeah. a little bit that way. Let's get this kid home and get him healthy, man. He's a great guy. Yeah, so he hopefully should be ready to move on Feb 5th. So ah, That's awesome, man. So, um, yeah, so that's good. Anywho. Right. So now the fight stuff. Back to the fights. Let's just start with... Uh, we'll start with your favorite topic my favorite you. topic myself <laughs> yeah 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 um so obviously uh knockout win over satoshi ishii uh first i think we're gonna have a look at your uh wait, uh, <laughs> sorry dennis is just bringing up porn uh so anyway um uh i had to we, we, uh, we've got we a clip go. here now of the uh the finish so look yo can you pause this real quick hit that grammy so when when so here we got in the fight, Ishii ended up uh, shooting a single leg on me for people who are just listening to it, and he ended up taking my back. And the funny thing is, is Simon had been working with me this entire time, and and Ollie here at uh, Absolute had been working with me that if he took my back, he was gonna look for wait for me to turn into him, like yeah. if I was, you know how you yeah. normally somebody takes your back, yeah, we have to turn. break and turn, turn in. in yeah. Yeah. The thing is, as soon as I would go to Wizard. That's what he would want. Yeah. And take me for a ride. So I got, I got, you can play this a bit. I got, I got here and I just said, you know what? I gave him a couple little cheeky elbows there because you know what? Fuck this guy. We're in a fist fight. But I said, screw it. I'm not going to turn into him. I'm going to hit a gangster ass Grammy roll. Grammy roll. Yeah. <laughs> so slick. Yeah. And uh, no, man, it was, uh, I'll tell you guys what, man. Like, uh, 
fighting in Japan is fucking, it's outlandish. And fighting on New Year's Eve there. God, this is, this is look at this work. I mean, I'm just going to watch myself for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fighting there, like, so, I mean, like, what was it, dude? What was it? What, I, I know what it was like being in the ring. Yeah, but like, what was that like being there, like on the side? The atmosphere, with fucking, and fucking. Uh, like it was. It, like, to be honest, when the fight's going on, you just right. You just like watching him dial like, in, d- yeah. dial in, and watching. And then uh, you hear that? Then, doing his job. Then, <laughs> yeah. at, the, at, the, at, at this <laughs> point, <laughs> at this point, it's pretty cool. Like yeah. then you sort of take it in, and you're, yeah, you're going uh, crazy. I think when you went to jump on the rope, I went to hit your hand, and I almost took your leg out. So you almost face <laughs> planted on the turnbuckle. I forgot to. Man. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, look, obviously you're just doing that because I think you know you could tell from the outside you hadn't hurt. I, th- I don't know. I was like, yeah, just keep the pressure. Don't don't overcommit. Wait for like cause thought he might sh- still try to shoot. Well, he so. was uh, he did exactly kind of what we were we're getting ready for, like him just fading off to the wrong side the whole time and yeah. trying to kind of kickbox and. Yeah, weird. the weird, the way that he circles to the palace. Yeah, is, is they, cool. um, but like the thing is, like it was a trip being in Japan because the guys they uh, for like we, we kind of jumped right into this. Like if you don't know what we're talking about, Satoshi Ishii was uh, Olympic gold medalist in judo who I fought up in Japan. You trained with him a bit, yeah. Roger. I trained him over at Rain with uh, Mark Munoz. So that was when, when was he was there. that was when he that's was when first he, yeah home, when yeah. he first started getting the cracking. Dude was a dude was like a super fucking high level like blue chip got down supposed to be the next big deal yeah they were yes. pepping him up kind of never really worked out but like when i got to japan Jake. yeah <laughs> but I, we got to japan and all like you were i was expecting all the japanese to be like oh you know you're fighting ishii like he's very very good like yeah, but, yeah. but it was they uh they they don't like the son bitch well i think if he had any fans left in japan they I think disappeared he switched. when he came over came out to the croatian national so, anthem yeah. and the, so, carry the croat right. flag so this was dude, like this dude has the was, balls to walk out on new year's eve beside off, thomas super arena <laughs> he walks out with the croatian flag to a Croatian like folk song. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, this, like, I'm like watching you try and dance to that out the back to stay loose. That was entertaining. What is he, is he taking the piss or did he just? No, no. I think you know he's like, he identifies. He basically yeah. says he's, he's Croatian now. Yeah. He gave up his he, Japanese he, citizenship. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. But he's he's straight up given up. He he's forfeited all of his uh, Japanese his, his Japanese yeah. like straight yeah. up. He's he is a Croat now. Yeah. yeah. Which I I mean like he he's got something wrong with like um. Because he moved out there to train with Crow Cop after Crow Cop beat him twice. After Crow Cop <laughs> fucked him up twice. And yeah. I guess I mean you kind of go to people that you think are gonna make you better. But man, if you're a judo, it's that'd be like taking Connor. We got a wrestling coach here, Connor, who's a Olympic level wrestler, about to go yeah, to, to crack the shits in the Olympics yeah. here. But that'd be like him like fighting uh fighting Tyron Spong or, or or Rico Verhoeven, being like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move to Holland. <laughs> And I'm going to be a K1 fighter. Like, no, 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 no. Maybe yeah. you just need to use what you got. Use what you ride. The, go to go go with the girl that got you to the dance, man. Yeah. Well, go you leave home the, with her. The, the yeah. Japanese fan base. The Japanese fans are crazy, and they're so yeah. good. They're so supportive, and you just left that. Yeah, like, just how many compl- Croatian fans. Uh, are there even? How many people are there? I mean, not not to shit on Croatia, Jake Stavik, <laughs> but like, <laughs> yeah, Savvy's like, like, he's like, like, he's talking about the area, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but like, Savvy's burst the door. Yeah, yeah. But they, uh, but like, Sam hit the fucking nail on the head, man. They like, they are such a like rabid fan base, but in a like not rabid in the sense of like these crazy drunk fans we see stateside or in Oz. Yeah. Like, they're just mm. real respectful and like real caring of res- and all and that. But so they know the game. They know the game and they're about it. Yeah. So yeah. like to leave that behind. So to leave to leave that behind gang, gang. would be uh, that's a nightmare. He must have really had some fucking. He must have had a big falling out with him. Yeah, uh, yeah, or that, or maybe just he got married. With, like, like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe yeah. the, the yeah, missus was the like, missus like being yeah. Croatian she now. Got, like, he got some crazy. <laughs> it's like Raja normally chases. Fuck, <laughs> 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 fucking asshole. I wonder if she had four kids already. I don't want to actually. No, I probably shouldn't disrespect his wife. Yeah, just right. I got no wife, no girl. I'll tell you what, though, man. Like outside of just my fight and everything, that that entire Rising Twenty card. I don't know how much of it you got to watch. Yeah, watch most watch of it. Back. Yeah, because they so they had a uh, they had a, a lightweight Grand Prix semi and final in it, and that Tofik. Uh, he's Brucia. a killer. So this kid, he's from Azerbaijan. He's a can you can you pull up his. Uh, I think he's finished a Johnny Case. You should probably be able to pull up. It's Tofik Musi. I mean, and previously he'd already beat Crookshank. Beat Crookshank, and he beat um, Damian Brown. I reckon. Yeah, I yeah. Him as well, he, Damian Brown. I think gave him a. Damian fight. Brown gave him a bit of. A, Damian, yeah. hey, shout out to Damian Brown. Aussie yeah. guy fights in uh, in Ryzen as well, and he's a uh, that is a tough kid. He's a yeah. real tough yeah. kid. Yeah, yeah. But this Tofik Musiev is probably without a doubt one of the scariest guys to fight at seventy kgs I've ever seen in my life. He's, 
Like, I mean, this, he's this is a good short fight. Way, so, too. yeah, yeah, we're gonna pull it up here for people who are just listening. Johnny Case out of America. He's a UFC vet who came and he went like five I, and two. Six I think he went two. five, six and two, or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. He had a great Jake career. Jake Matthews in the UFC. beat him actually. But, yeah, but he was Johnny Case. He's good. He, he, he is no easy day at the office. And Tofik Musiev comes out here and he's just playing his game. Just that stone cold, I have fired AK-47s at people in anger face. Like, just no fucks given. But, I mean, the guy kicks like a goddamn mule. I was watching him uh, warm up backstage before he fought Crookshank. And it was just uh, outlanded. But, I mean, this well, can wrestle as well. So 70, like, 70, yeah. 70, yeah. 70, yeah. Can yeah. wrestle. Can, can, well, he's, he's from one of those, uh, those former done. Russian Anything, yeah. Look, yeah. look at that yeah. overhand. Run that shit back. <laughs> like, run that back. Like, so he, he, case recovered really he well. He sets this actually. up. All he does, just fades Boy. off and wings that shit with bad intentions. And it's pretty much, I mean, Case yeah. has so, so well. a good double from Johnny right there. Yeah. He Sorry, but to people that are just listening to this, I mean, it's... John got rocked and then... Got rocked down. and then got a great flare double after it. But, I mean, oh, just shit. was... But he was on stilts. Like. And just, I mean, the There's violence. There's so many killers like that that no one really knows much about. This guy, I reckon, would be top 10 UFC. 100%. You know, UFC, like, I mean, now. 100%, 100%. You take this guy and you put him... Because he just beat... And he went on after this fight with Johnny Case here to fight uh, Patricky that, Pitbull in the, the fight. Yeah, one of those Pitbull and, brothers. And those boys are fucking fighters. Those yeah. Pitbull boys, say what you will about Bellator, this, that, the other thing. Those Pitbull brothers, they can all fight. Right. Yeah. And and Tofik came out and put an ass whooping on him. Oh, he just, just, just smashed him. Just, like the guy was competitive for the first couple of minutes. They sort of yeah. bit of back and forth. Yeah. But every the, time they... What's Sorry, that? I was saying that? They had Bellator on the same... Uh, Bellator event, yeah. Yeah. two days yeah. before. So the oh, Bellator yeah. card was on the 29th. So there was a, they had this whole thing going where it was going to be Bellator versus uh, Ryzen. Mm-hmm. But then inside of that, they had... So they had a Bellator card and a Ryzen card. So the Bellator card ran the 29th and it was headlined... Mm-mm, excuse me. By Fedor and Rampage. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Fedor and Hampage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it would actually... Like, I don't know. It, it was a great card. There was a couple, a couple good fights on it. Yeah. What do you reckon was, about the Fedor Rampage fight? <laughs> I don't, yeah, Rampage. Take it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> said that Rampage like took a dive. I don't reckon he did. Yeah, he I reckon did the way he right fell, now. he just the was coming he, unconditioned. The way, he fell down. the way in with his shoulder. I reckon he d- he definitely got like Look, dropped. He didn't come in. How it hadn't hard, been true. Uh, Fedor hits. Yeah, I'm saying it's not like people, that, people on the outside that go he took a dive. You don't fall like that when you took a dive. And the other thing is he he was he. He might not have trained at all for the fight, nah, yeah. but, he, but he did. He came in looking thick. Yeah, 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 he, yeah. He was he was not missing any meals. But like <laughs> to be real, I mean, Fedor. They can't take anything away from Rampe or from Fedor on this one. Fedor came in looking like the the Fedor that was winning winning GPS in two thousand four. Yeah, he was he was in shape. Mm. His hands. That man has not lost an ounce of hand speed. Rampage yeah. said to Fedor after the fight, he goes, I think you should keep fighting. He goes, because <laughs> your, your, your speed is there, your power, your strength, yeah. your fight IQ is like... But you, you'd be hoping that when yeah, it's happening to you. <laughs> I, think, I think his chin might be a little a little suspect, but like, I'll be real interested to see what they do with Fedor next because they, they made a... they made a, Somebody made a bad... Um, um, Help me out with the word where people tell you the language that they're speaking. Translation. 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 Thank you. Bang. They made a bad translation saying that Fedor said that he was retired yeah, that night in Saitama. Yeah. But what he was saying was he's he that was his last fight in Japan. So the plan is he's still going to have one more fight in uh, either the Middle East or the States. And then he's going to have his retirement fight in Russia. In when Russia. Bellator goes get that to shake Russia. money. Uh, get that. Yeah. He's gonna that go get shake that, money. You know it's going to be in Saudi or something yeah. like that. Like they did the, yeah. the Jacobs fight. Yeah. But like. They, they, I honestly think there's competitive fights for him still out there. Yeah, like, oh, he, yeah. and, and and people, he's never going to be short on people wanting to fight him. No. How, 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 do you, how do you reckon you match <laughs> up with yeah. Fedor? Fedor, I think, I think it's a, I think stylistically, it's a fucking, it's a fun matchup for I people reckon, to watch. Yeah, I reckon <laughs> so too. Like, Dynamic striker that can that's live yeah. speed, it's big. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, we're kind of we kind of fight. You weren't going to call out Rampage, but I, think, <laughs> I was like watching the fight, and then after that happened, I'm like. Best not call out Rampage. <laughs> now, Jack. So we're, I'm <laughs> sitting, I'm sitting, we're, the plan was after the fight, if Rampage won, I was gonna call out Rampage like with the mic and everything. And we're watching. Uh, I'm watching him at the house at the hotel, and I get a text from Simon. He said, "Better not call out Rampage." <laughs> yeah, act like you're act, well, we got some good. <laughs> beating a dead horse while it's down. <laughs> but who knows, man? Here's the other thing, though. Rampage is he's maybe yeah. he loses some weight and he gets back. He starts dropping back down. He's just gonna want it. Like, yeah, the, I, it looked like he doesn't. Rampage would still be capable, would still be whatever, but it's just yeah, it just doesn't want it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so who, uh, on that card, like I don't even know if it's worth. 
Like, yeah. Wasn't that impressed with the Shemitov? Yeah, oh, oh, Shemitov. Oh, Sergei yeah. or whatever. But Ser- uh, yeah. oh, MVP. Look, MV- but, yeah, on the but stylistically, that was like a p- But here's the thing. Matchup. Like, look, yeah. man, they set up, they, st- they set MVP up. The MVP being Michael Venom Page. He's a British kickboxer who Ryzen, or not, excuse me, not Ryzen, Bellator, Bellator has put all their goddamn chips behind. I just don't get it. I don't yeah. see it. I don't understand it. I mean, he's got that flashiness, like the. That's what's really murdered him. Yeah. With that. I want to see that run back. You know, MVP hit me up on Insta. Yeah. And he was just like. Fancy boy. He literally hit me up after the knee because I was yeah. like, because he got a fucking the fly knee of all fly knees. Yeah. And right. And he just said, like, nice knee. I was like, fuck, you know oh, what? He DM? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, sliding into the DM. I was like, nah, I got to support him now. Fuck. Yeah. MVP, I'm on your boat. Let's rock into Sam's finish there. So Sam, Sam had oh, a fly shit. knee right here. I've actually, I don't know if I've, you've, have you seen it? I don't know if I've seen it. This was in the very last, like two seconds left. I was like, one, two. Oi! <laughs> By God, he killed him. <laughs> <laughs> He's killed him. Yeah. Said, Hang on, right, so break this down for me, Sam. Is so that? This is. Put <laughs> 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 put a beat behind that. Uh, he so he this, can dance. Explain yeah. to me this then. If this, mm. if this is Amy. Mm. You got, those are four ounce gloves you're wearing. Yeah. Four ounce, yeah. That's so, a knee to the head. Mm. Can't elbow. Can't so elbow. So you're just fighting the no, Road no. FC rules. Uh, <laughs> Pretty can, much. They can, go, or no, you're fighting Road FC rules. No um, heel hooks. So no twist. Which they get confused And, and again, sometimes. it also fucking depends on the state too. Yeah. Sometimes it's... It One guy goes, no rotation. Remember the thing? Oh, no, no heel. They had no idea what a heel hook was. So, all right, I'm going to use this as... And then one, 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 one state, like Adelaide or something, there's no... Yeah. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to skip around on this thing a little bit, man. Sam, like, with just seeing that right there, mm. what is it like? Like, that? you just had a pro rules fight, bro. That is, yeah, I don't care what you say. That's a pro rules fight. Maybe it was three minute rounds or whatever, but like, three, three. there's knees to the head, there's uh, there's four ounce gloves being worn, but you're doing that. You're you're not getting paid for that shit. What yeah. is, what is it like being an Ami these days? Not only just having to deal with the rules like in Australasia and all that shit, but also like, like what like I, f- I feel like with the way social media is now and all this shit, like there's so many guys out there that are just trying to flash that aren't really about the life. Mm. I'm asking you a ton of questions, but I. <laughs> Holla at me, bro. Like, what is, what is this like? <laughs> yeah, we already know. <laughs> Look, I think it's like, uh, it's to say, it's co- it's following the same kind of trend as, as boxing now mm. in terms of like the amateur level is getting higher and higher. But right. I think it's easy to get lost in it because right. we have access to like social media. You can pump up. You can put things out there. Um, you got to just focus on the on the, the bread and butter, which is training, getting good, yeah. using it for what it is. Amateur, I feel, is there for experience, leveling up, um, trial and error. And then just to prepare you for 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 the big leagues. So yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah, there's a lot of people that put a bit too much effort on their social media game before they even it. had a single fight. Yeah. I mean, if you haven't had a fight and you've got a fight name and you've got, <laughs> right and like you got issues. I, I, I mean like all bullshit aside, man, I see guys out here that are amateurs hunting sponsors and doing all this shit. It's like bro, like and I get it. You gotta you gotta pay the bills and shit, but like. Like man, like focus. Get in the goddamn gym. It's the gr- yeah, it's get, the grind. There There's no escaping the it. Stay in the gym. The thing is, though, how many people are we going to see? Gym, We're definitely going to see so many people, like amateur wise, coming up, like big maybe push behind them on social media and whatnot, yeah. and then. If you just follow, like two, three years later, you might just see it all fall that off. That dude's but working in the goddamn car yeah. dealership. And it's like, there's nothing wrong with working. It's just, you got to put in the yards. You got to put in the yards and train. Like, I'm still working. I'm doing PTs and I'm yeah. trying to do what I can. And then you got to put in the, but you got to put in the You're also in here, like, I mean, I can say just from seeing it, man, you're in here paying your fucking dues. I mean, you're not Thank in here, you. you're not in here taking easy, easy rounds. You're not taking easy fights. You know, you, you, you're getting rounds in with guys like Roger. You know, you're getting, you're getting your work. You got to open, you, I, I, I feel like you have a, you have an open mind to what's going on. Whereas I think, his mindset when, is different. Right, it is. We, like, we spoke about it. It's, a lot, like you, it's a lot different. You coach a lot of these cats too, yeah. so like you'd have a good uh, perspective on this. I feel like a lot of these guys, because there's so much shit out there now, like they um, get lost in it. Well, they and they and they feel like they know shit that they don't know. Mm-hmm. Like you said, how, you can't not have had a single fight yet, but have everything popping off. Yeah, like yeah. bro, you don't know shit about yeah. shit. You got to earn it, but that falls. Most people mindset. don't know shit about MMA. Bro, That's, I'll that, tell you that, what, man. Like, this, is. this was my 25th professional fight, and I still don't know shit about shit. Still I still learning. learn shit on the still daily. Learning. I can't imagine though being a guy. But that's that's, that's why you're getting so so many good results. Because what I realized so quickly was, in first with jujitsu, I started with jujitsu. I was like, "Fuck, there's so much shit to learn." And then <laughs> I, from everyone that was good, we kept saying like, uh, "Well, when you get your black belt is when you start to learn." You go, yeah. "Oh, cool, cool, cool." Then you realize you're like, "Wait, you're never really gonna stop because you can always get." Oh. 
better oh, and better and better. There's always another little answer. There's always, there's always like, like that next, like yes. that next, that, that next like level you can pop yeah, off. Like that next little quest you can go on down yeah. the line. You know what I mean? 100%. Little side quest. It's not like you get to a certain level and then that's like that's it. That's the best that, yeah. that that's gonna happen. And, and, and yeah. things also like gotta try just to keep it. evolving and changing. Yeah. So. Game changes. Yeah. yeah. I still do way more lessons every week as a student. Yeah. As a coach, of course, everything just it just it's way. There's just so much. It evolves shit. because especially now, like you saw with the that Messiah kid or whatever, all these other Russians and Japanese yeah. people. The game is evolving. It's like, like there's people out there that if you went back maybe 10 years in, in the amateur, amateur leagues, that's probably a big thing to it now as well. Because the amateurs have access to more training, more right. knowledge. They can look at the past and they can see what people did. Um, they have a little bit of a head start, but there's no secret to the recipe, which is fucking work, work. and Bro, put in the work. Write that keep shit down. Say Simple that again, that. Sam. Put in the work. <laughs> put in the yep. work. And that's the thing, man. I, put I feel, in the work. Huh? I feel like I, <laughs> if you do not work hard, you are not going to go anywhere. <laughs> I feel like a lot of these cats, though, they, they come in here and like, and you you would see it so much with like the guys that you started with, where like they come in here and they want the shortcut. They want that, they want that magic powder, bro. They want that, they want that black magic, right? They want the yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna work with this guy that's gonna get, he's gonna teach me the secrets. I'm gonna go learn that Dan Hirsch shit. It's like, no, bro, get in the goddamn gym and learn how to throw a fucking one. That's thing. the thing. It's, not, it's like, well, when I was playing soccer back in the day, I remember my dad would say, we had a team, um, North Sea Lions, and people would jump and go to the other, to this team. He's like, we're gonna stay at the, because that's where you build. Those, uh, every other team, every other gym, every other um, place that has anything good is good because they've built together. They right. build with the team. So if anywhere you go, um, if you put in the work together, you stay consistent. Everything that you want is gonna come, but you gotta just put in the work. It's like you said, that's the that's the yeah. recipe. Is it, is, it, is it hard to balance because you're fighting Amy right now? Is it hard to balance like getting better in like, especially the level that you're at? You're at that level now where I think your skills, you're at a professional level, absolutely, as Thank a skill wise guy. But like, is it hard to balance? You still gotta make money to live, and you yeah. still gotta do things. Is it hard to balance like that, like that job, that real, that real human life, in the and the and the training life, or like what? How are you balancing all that shit out? Yeah, or you just put it out your goddamn brain and go to work. <laughs> I'm just like, not nah, gonna be in the gym. Nah, Hustling. I do. You do <laughs> gang, gang. Nah, you do what you got. Like you honestly, you just will find a way to to make it work. If you want to yeah. make it work, if you, you want to make it work, you you will literally find a way. Like that that's how it is. And I feel like people say law of attraction, like all that stuff is cool, 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 but. All anyone's really saying is if you want to do something and you just make it, all right, that's it, I'm going to do that thing, you're going to find, you're going to figure out how, you, you're going to be like, okay, i got to train here, i got to train at this time, but also got to make money. Okay, maybe I can PT, mm. I can do other thing, you know, you can work, you can you can try your best to to support yourself on your Not on find your, some Because even, in like, seven o'clock, <laughs> we'll go pro this year, but, yeah, uh, but you're still not yeah. uh, going to... Like, uh, you still need to work. Like, yeah. you gotta fight for 500 bucks, yeah. maybe three or four well, fights. You can't, the, the money can't be like you, no. like you and guys, and everyone has told me. If you take yeah. fights for money rather than mm -hmm. the right matchups, right, you know, building your rec building yeah, experience, a, fucked yeah. record real then, quick, then, 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 then hey. it's a hard day. I can get you a free test. Hey, hey. Roger, hey. no, hey. hey. everyone I've spoke to, like, I spoke to what I did. I can't even ask you questions. You, I asked all the guys that are really doing I go, what's it like? And they're like, look, the first few fights. There's not going to be cash. It's going to be 500 bucks. It's going to be this. Yeah. That's not the goal. The goal yeah. is it's pretty much the same as when you're amateur. You're still yeah. trying to build experience. Of course, now you're a little bit more legit because you're getting paid and you can maybe now hunt for sponsors, try to support your professional career. But right. at the same time, the goal isn't to... Like, I want, I want 10K. Shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. And the, the, the goal is to get better. The goal is to get better. And get yes. better fights. And then, then you get, get to where you want to be, man. You can't forget about the, the thing that holds it all together, which is the skills... You gotta get yeah. you gotta get those. You only get Skills those by working. Work. 100%, yeah. bro. What do, uh, what do you what are your thoughts like as like a high level AMI guy? Like, what do you think about like the if is that I M A F F if my uh, whatever they're doing these world championships? There's mixed. Like there's that one, yeah. and then there's that what's that that other one? There's, a, there's like I really almost want to what? get into the politics of all this shit. <laughs> yeah. I'll just give I'll just give a as a coach. What does that bring to a cat? I think it would be cool if you didn't have to pay for your own shit. I'll say it. I don't give a fuck. Like, cause like you have to pay your own way. Because we talked about putting him on. I talked when I did my course I was like hey I'm gonna get you on yeah. and then I look into it and I'm like man I don't flights, want to pay for fights yeah. pay for accommodation that's that's not what I'm I, I admire what they're doing right so they're like this is my quick take on this stuff sorry okay. but <laughs> Obviously, they'd like to do so doing give a breakdown on what it is, too. So, so basically, so IMF is one, there's Gamma. Gamma to me is a really weird one because that was the amateur things, but you yeah, you had pros, you, you on could there. have pros and amateurs fighting the same pros day. that don't want to fight other pros. Like, yeah. I'm also talking like 10 fight pros, uh, 
How does like that, going like fucking Ryan. Like, the bullshit like, that goes what? on. Yeah, one of the boys fucking... Well, not one of the boys. Scratch that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't my boy. It's one of, the, one of the guys from Perth I've seen on the car. He has He's like, like 14 fights, fights or something. And he goes over there and fights amateur. I'm fuck up. Run that shit with me. I don't know fuck you, but you're a sandbag in some of it. There's uh, nothing more sandbag than that. But that, that's... the. Uh, I mean, there's some strange shit go, like with that sort of well, stuff. But but I'm after each now. If you've had pro fights, you can't go. Yeah. Uh, well, what, is the, what, are, what are they trying to sell to these guys? So the they're, look, they're trying to build like an Olympics. Of Olympic like, like an, and like, so the you know, I like that. Olympics that's the that's cool. Yeah. But, but it is hard. So like I understand their mission, their goal. But let's say you got Sam and he, they say, Sam, we're going to put you on the national team. You're part of the Australian team. You're going to compete at Oceana's. And Sam goes, sick, I'm on the national team. They go, sweet. So you've got to pay for your own airfares, accommodation, <laughs> entry into the competition. That's and shit. it's going to cost you the two grand to go, right? Yeah. And, and Eternal says, hey, we'll run a show on the flight. No, no. We'll we're going to fly, you, we'll fly, fly you. you. We'll pay your accommodation. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do this. It's just going to be hard for them. And the if rules are sim- different, and you wear shin pads and, and different stuff. You wear shin pads, you wear crazy, bigger gloves, mm. and you don't. Because it is more about the amateur sports. You can do so that, but that, that's okay with that. It's just the know, hard part is getting that, out there with the money, like the funds. Oh, I, like 100%. the funds as like the, being it, the coach for the guy or career. being yeah. the, the fighter. Well, and here's the trip on this one too, man. Like I saw it when I fought in uh, Siberia this last year. They have these whole government-sponsored yeah, amateur programs. Yep. Yeah, where like these guys are fighting in tournaments all day, like it's yeah. a wrestling tournament going up. Yeah, and I guarantee you, for the IMAF, what is the, the oh, acronym, yeah, uh, IMAF yeah. or whatever, they're not paying. They're not coming out of pocket for that shit. That nah. shit is state sponsored. The Chinese yeah, yeah. teams, the Russian teams, yeah. all these other guys, they're on payroll getting That's put how out there. When I was at Tiger, I was talking to some of the some of the um, juniors yeah. that were out there, and they were telling nice. me they go, oh, yeah, they paid for us to come they out here. They paid for us that that shit. Go, Who? Yeah. Like the country, like yeah. the country, yeah, yeah, they paid us to come. I was like, shit, they've got a massive advantage there, but at the same same time, the recipe is the same. Hard work, it's so same, it's doesn't matter. Well, at the end cheers of the day, to yeah. that, Sam. At the end of the day, dude, they can have all these advantages at the end of yeah. the day. If you don't want it, but if they don't want to come in, if they would get out of Thailand point. on the country's dime and they don't want to go put in that work, the dude that's down here in Australia having a bounce at night and fucking get any little side hustling, get he, 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 Sam was down here holding pads, doing a PT before this thing took off because you know what, you got to pay the bills. And you know what, I'm that cool. hustle, that that ideal of like I'm gonna get out there and get mine no matter what, fucking grind every day. That shit's gonna get you farther than anybody ever handing you shit. It's the only day, thing that know. everyone agrees on like it's the only thing that's not a secret that everyone says and it's like I feel maybe because everyone says it all the time people think that there's something else but yeah. that's just that's just the it. truth yeah. and a lot of times just when it. you're fighting amateur or even pro you do have time to work 20 or 30 hours a week yeah, like people, put in- people that go I'm a full time fighter mm. Dude, you train three hours a day. What are you yeah. doing with the rest of the time? I'm napping. Play the, everything's yeah. there. Yeah. 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 I'm napping and having My a beer. My recovery is very important. I'm be Raja working 10 to 9 hours a day. I've having a beer. Yeah. Hey, so hey. Thumb like weights. flags out. After, <laughs> with, 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 with all that said, before I get into your upcoming plans, what um what advice would you give somebody? Like, say somebody's taking Raja's intro classes or ta- mm. like any classes, anybody absolute or anybody at any gym that might be listening to this. If they want to get into the amateur fight scene and start fighting, what advice would you give them? Start training a lot and yeah, start training a lot and build. I feel like with MMA, a lot of people skip the jiu-jitsu. They skip the striking and they just do the MMA class. Right. Yeah. I'm so glad that I was able to do like a solid two years of jiu-jitsu and mm. then also do some Muay Thai because then you can tie it together and then work MMA class and still work on those things at the same time. So yeah, train a lot, do those things and then train a little Dude. bit more. You're they fucking, I think you're nailing the head yeah. with that one, bro. 100%. I do, the people that go, I want to do MMA, so I'm not going to do kickboxing, I'm not going to do jiu-jitsu. Not do jiu-jitsu. Like, you can see it when wrestling. you spar. You go, ah, Dude, okay, so you never got to do jiu-jitsu. Yeah, I do it all. So, uh, I was going to say, so Sam was the uh, athlete of the year, so obviously yep. for his performance this year. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that could have gone, I, when, when I got it, I remember saying, right, like, that could have gone to anyone, but I appreciate it. And it yeah. was, um, it was, yeah. There was like, look, because no one actually had, I think, more than, no single fighter had more than three fights. Sam did go. <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh, sorry. We've ignored one of them, actually. Yeah. Um, I had uh, five fights last year. What's that? <laughs> Damn. You got five. Yeah. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Didn't actually realize that. that uh, I'll just send that over to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, bro, I don't deserve it. No, no. Um, uh, but not all with us. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with y'all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but anyway, so but Sam had three, which I think there was a lot of people that had three or whatever. Mm-hmm. Sam did go two one. He, one of his, his loss was a bit of a. It was annoying one, but it was. But, good, but like for you, yeah, talk about that. Good. What happened? So I went and for. Uh, Wollongong Wars. Was that short notice? Or was uh, that I didn't one? Know. No, no, I think that one was planned. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I went and fought. Colby Thickness in, from Wollongong. Hold on, pause button. Wars. 
His last name is Thickness. The Thickness. <laughs> yeah. He's uh, Vulcan's Vulcan 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 protege. Well, there you Vulcan. go. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Footy Vulcan Thickness yeah. out there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Team Thick went for Team Thick down there. And then um, yeah. I dropped him super early, like with exactly what we were doing round. in the back. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right hand fake. He, he reached for the right kick and then came over top, dropped him. And then split him open, too, pretty split nice, him open yeah. again with a knee. And then after that, he took me down and then I threw up a triangle. And then all, like every time he took me down, which was three, t- four times, I, I either got back up or had a submission attempt on. Then the last round, there was no takedown mm. landed. And then the decision went the other way. And he didn't land any punches. Like, in really, the gong. Really, yeah. yeah. But he's a, great, like, he's a great bloke and a great fighter. And, yeah. that. and I could and see I, how. I remember, I remember and the amateur, the amateur record. I, was oh, like, I remember. Yeah. 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 And you're, you're using a real nice word for annoying right now. Yeah, that was a hometowner <laughs> for sure. I'll oh. call it as I see it. Sponsored um, by Asahi. Jake's <laughs> opinions. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, no, man, but you know what? Like Simon was just about to say it before I cut him off. The important thing is, is that shit happens as an Ami. Yeah. You run into That's shit like that as an amateur. Yeah. It's when it happens on your pro record when shit matters. Yeah. If you get, if you get bent over the chair like that while well, it's uh, on a pro And it was good yeah. because yeah. It, yeah. It, I know the two, yeah. he still brought up things like the stuff against yeah. the cage. And we there was stuff that. like, you got controlled against the cage in the third yeah. round. You didn't get taken but, down, yeah. but you lost you it. Me on no, that, no, and that's yeah. why I'm saying it was still good. Because even though you could say, oh, maybe he would have won. Because yeah. I'm like, but it made me real. I'm like, okay, bang. I came back, I same day, went, worked. I went yeah. down, saw Simon, saw Barack, did jujitsu, went with Jake, just put, put me on the cage, and then we just started working. Then my cage grappling went um, much better. Still yeah. way more to go by, like it massively increased. And then every time I was doing rounds anyway, St. Kilda with anyone, I'd be like, doing walls and rounds. let's go on the wall. And that's yeah. all I wanted to work. And, and if you saw the flying yeah. knee knockout, that was a brown belt, James Sargis, and who had six fights. Oh, shit. Like a brown belt. T- and that was like, a short notice one. And that, that was, was short notice. Was and, and he's like a... A th- I don't know, late twenties, thirty-year-old man, brown belt, highly regarded. Well, and Put him against the fence, and he looks at me like, ah, what, what, like what, he's what a grown man. <laughs> what, a, what a brown belt is like a brown belt is he? A, a brown belt can kill any person. But ain't the absolute brown belt. Look, like it's this is fact. I think everyone would even agree. Absolute jujitsu. Yeah, yeah. And even like, especially at St Kilda, is like, come on, it's like on another level. Like the. So that's why as soon as I heard Brown, but, and even he said, he goes, I don't like, don't feel daunted. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to feel daunted or anything. Cause I know okay. that. Yeah. You down there don't say exactly yeah. what I said. No, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I get what you're saying because every day you're coming, yeah. you, every day you come and clock in, you're in here with killers. Yeah. It's, so not like, it's not like you're going to the garage gym down the street where yeah. your uncle's teaching you. Exactly. Jiu-jitsu. You know, my uncle used to have a little bit of golden gloves boxing. <laughs> yeah. That's my pad, man. Like, no, nah, you got, you got, yeah, I mean, we got a, we got a, my, the like gym. my striking coach and the, the head Muay Thai coach yeah. here is goddamn world ranked in the WBC. You know, you got some of the best jujitsu guys in the world out here. So I think that's world-class shit, strikers, world-class world class strikers. Strikers. I mean, the world makes it, the world makes it, that type of shit makes it. So I knew man. for a fact, I'm like, and then that's why when we, when I got taken down the, the one time, I was like, it was so obvious to me straight mm. away that I was winning the grappling exchange. But then when I watched it back, yeah, I know you shouldn't, but I was, li- I was listening to the commentary <laughs> and the guy, they're obviously boys because he's not even calling him his name. He's like, oh, Jimmy's landed it. Oh, real nice, Jimmy. And I'm like, I got an overhook. I pushed his, I frame. I get a triangle. I lock up the triangle and he's yeah. still like, oh, I don't know if Sam wants to be here with a brown belt. I'm like, I've got this dude I've, the in triangle a triangle. The triangle's in right now, you <laughs> dumb son of a And then he bitch. never got out of the triangle. The round ended with the, tri- with the triangle. Then we stood up. He's like, that was dangerous for Sam. I was like, how? How? Yeah. What planet are you from? The, All right, yeah. Wollongong. Well, <laughs> no, 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 this, this, this is Queensland. Sorry, sorry, Wollongong. Well, yeah. So going in, 2020, big year coming up. What's the plan? Fight four times, win four oh, times. Man. That's it. What are we thinking? Pro am? I want to. I want to do pro. These guys have said about it. Um, if yeah. they want me to do another well, one amateur, then yeah, let's do that as well. But I'm so down to just put in work. At the moment, yeah. 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 See what Whatever comes up. I had. I don't know if I told you this. I had my longtime manager, um, Brian Butler, Sucker Punch, hit me up like last week. Goes, yeah. hey. You know this kid? And I looked at the things and knew who it was. And he was like, I was, like, I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he, I was like, yeah, I know him. He's like, what do you think? And I was like, fuck, kid's fucking talented, man. He's nah, a big kid. I was like, he's like, all right, I'm going to hit him up. Tell him I'm hitting him up. I'm like, Brian, I'm not doing your fucking job for you. Sims <laughs> 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 actually had quite a few. Uh, yeah, a few That's yeah. good, man. That means you get noticed, but don't let that shit go nah, to your head, no man. No chance. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, the bread and butter. Fast and be shady, man. The bread and butter is behind it all. You can't let it, you can't see it and be like, that's cool, 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 big deal. Yeah, Wayne, anything, you're not. Yeah. I think you know the managers maybe have more value when they're trying to push to get you to the UFC or whatever else. But when you're zero zero as a pro, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have a pro fight though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so this, this is, this is what I said. Because like without being anything, the way I, I see it was this: 
along the journey, because everyone is, if that does MMA, they would have known it's a fucking roundabout way. You get those little things that you go, okay, that's a good affirmation. That's a good sign. Yeah. All right, I'm doing, I'm doing the right thing. So keep doing more of that thing. Don't forget about that thing and be yeah. like, okay, so that's it. We're going to fucking just knock it down. Bro, you got such a good outlook on this shit, man. Told you, it's a mindset. Bro, bro, the mindset that. is what, that, the like, mindset's what's Don't different. let that shit go to your head. Like, you know, <laughs> got to ride the fucking horse that got you here, bro. And that horse for you is fucking hard work and that's listening, it. That's man. all we got to do. That's good yeah. shit. All right, so he was athlete of the year. Club, <laughs> Congrats, yeah, we went off on a tangent there. Yeah, 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 a yeah. bad motherfucker. Um, <laughs> so uh, we'll just quickly touch on these. Other. So we had two other major awards. There were like awards for different sports and stuff, and they'll all come out on the web page and Facebook and all that <clears> shit. Uh, so club person of the year was Matthew Jens. Just a very quick sort of uh, bit on him. He, great guy, really great for the culture of the club. Uh, did like a rollathon event, um, raising okay. money for the Do uh, Dylan Alcott Foundation. Um, he's basically just does a lot. Like, he's a good guy, tries to do stuff for not only the so gym and the broader community. community. So and community outreach. Yeah. I actually came in while that, um, yeah, did that cardio. Kind of on the treadmill while that uh, rollathon was going on. There's a great, great, great amount of people in here. Yeah, it, was really, it was a real good thing going, so that's good. Yeah. And good staff too. member of the year, Dan Howard. So, uh, as, you know, it's not just by default, but no one else knows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Dan, look, to be honest, had a great, uh, did a great job with his conditioning program for uh, for the fight team here. Yeah. I mean, I think to be honest, like we in December we had seventeen guys booked for fights. Yeah. Uh, only ten ended up fighting. We had seven pullouts on the other side, but we got seventeen people for ready for a fight and not one single pullout. Yeah. And I think in the That's second half of the year we had forty. Over 43, 44 fights across pro and amateur, and we didn't have an injury pull out. I, uh, we didn't pull anyone out, which is, and that's a very good sign that people are. That's good because people are doing the right thing. Yeah, bo um, both with the training intensity and sparring, and credit to yeah, Roger and Jake. Out, and our pull out game is weak at absolute. <laughs> yeah. We stay in. Yeah. Stay um, in. I want to touch on something with our pro team, with our end of the year results. Yeah. For the month of December, and I could be wrong on this. Everybody that is still a member of this absolute MMA team, still here at this gym, that fought in December as a professional, finished yeah. their fight in a victory. Not just winning a goddamn decision. We all came out and finished. Yeah. Jack came out, got a phenomenal knockout 18 seconds. over there. Yeah. 18, 18 seconds. seconds. Put that dude into the freaking dark realm. Yeah. Raja, here we go. Here's Jack right here. Ooh. This the crazy thing about this is Jack and Simon. Well, Jack and Simon were, we're drilling backstage this shit. drilling this drilling exact this. setup. Yeah, yeah, just, just, just look, walk us through it. Oh, oh, ah! Oh, I killed him. Yeah, I dude. lost my shit. Uh, oh, we all that. lost our minds. So look, we're, we're backstage <laughs> and hexed on this one. And Simon and Jack are backstage drilling this exact combination that led to Jack. I mean, hats off to the guy who stepped up to fight him and everything. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you guys this right now. Jack, French Jack, Black Jack, whatever the hell you want to call him. <laughs> that man is on another level. He's going to be... For being fucking young. And yeah, yeah. They fucked his record up. He's think, not two yeah. and two. How old is he? He's 22 two and one. Zero. Two zero. Yeah, oh, I, well, I told him that. Like, yeah. so that was, two, two, he was zero. one and two. And he was like, I'm so excited about our young squad. And we got 20, 22 <laughs> years old. Because yeah. the other like, young kids you got Addy. But yeah, and the... I mean, to, 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 so he did say, this is the funny thing with Jack. He said, yes, my grappling very good, striking not so good. His grappling's not that good. No. But he's, <laughs> he's striking. Like, yeah, striking he's striking. Legit. Really and I'll tell you what, though. He's a grappler. Grapp this is his mindset. His grappling... Yeah. He's got on ten times. Because I remember rolling with him. Yeah. 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 Rolling with he him. has and got that's better. putting in the work again, going to St. Kilda. He's coming yeah. back yeah. tonight. Down there. He went oh, to do the farm work and then yeah. he's, oh, he's in the video and he's he like... He sent me a message. He said, Jake, I'm not going to stay here. This like, is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so this is his like third attempt yeah. in farm work. Uh, like, he said, I'll be back in Milburn. So, But then on top of what I was going down though with that, with those with those pro finishes for the 10 December, then we had Lyle who had... A tough goddamn fight, but came out and, and finished yeah, the guy. So, and I'm yeah. gonna tell you this, like Roger, you've had a heap of fights too. Yeah. To finish a guy with strikes in the third at the end. This, the this is Roger's fight. We're talking. I'm talking about um, Lyle right now. Lyle's fight. AFC. Lyle's fight at the AFC. Yeah. Finished the guy, pounded him out, and didn't just get a TKO out of it. They put him out. He put him out. Out. Slept good him. dude. I know Luke. He's a good dude. Yeah. yeah. He's a good dude. But but, put but him, what I'm put saying is out. like the ability to actually KO somebody. From the guard, I think too. Like I think he got mad at the end, but yeah, yeah he did damage. He got it. Yeah. I think yeah. And then yeah. I remember you, you two. And What's then, that? And, <laughs> going nuts. and then we have right here. We're pulling up our third finish in December. We have Raja with the goddamn highlight oh. reel gone viral, spinning elbow. About, I think he killed a guy, caught a body. That's what happens when you ask for a fight you don't want, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I actually would be nice, nice to Barber because he, uh, 
he told me he he called for the fight. He wanted to step up. He felt that I was one of the mm. best sign, um, yeah. unsigned talents, and he wanted to test himself. So wow. I'll give him that. We spoke afterwards. He actually wants to come down and train. So no no beef, no no nothing. Um, we Yo, talked but, afterwards. We had coffee, and everything was good. But wow. he he knows great the levels yeah, are, levels are different. You know what I mean? But yeah, I can Yo, respect somebody. Also, I hope he comes over. But yeah, like, he, we actually already trained last week. Bless. I, I give I give him mad respect. He came over and he's he's down and he's actually a fucking he's a nice dude. I'm what, not uh, bullshit. He's what is nice next dude. before I get into my life? Well, we already talked about my my KO. What is next for you this year, Raj? What do you got? Uh, I mean, shit. I tried to run it with um the number one guy in Australia, Mitch Martin. Um, Simon's been working on yeah. that for me, but I heard he wants to take off all of 2020, which to me doesn't make sense. He's eight no, he's undefeated, he has the belt for eternal. So, right. so, I, so I was, he, has, he has the eternal Yeah, yeah, yeah he has so the belt. The and it, 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 to me, it, it ain't even about the belt. Like, nah, he's nah, nah, he's, he's number, number one. one. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and my two homies are right there. It's me and my friends. So right, I'm like, you. I'm gonna who's do number one? Right now. All right, here we it. go. People of Australia, I'm going <laughs> to hand the mic over to Roger right now. <laughs> Try to promo something. What do you want to do? I'll say I'm trying to call your shot. Hey, you already know. I already said it. I'm trying to run it. I didn't been on Simon's ass. Like, hey, Simon, Simon, give me that fight. Give me that fight. Because it makes sense. Either... I'm going to get signed to the UFC off yeah, that well, fight. Or I'm yeah. trying, obviously, he will if he right. beats me. But if I'm not getting my short notice call, like, I want the number one guy. Hell yeah. Like, I'm not trying to be like, okay, I want you. Like, I'm going to call what? my shot. Like, Barbara called me. I had a little bit layoff. Yeah. I'm back. I want to fight the number one guy, which you would be me. Yeah, so Roger's also ranked number four and number two and three and not options for him. So, yeah. yeah both he knows them, but Darwin, I don't think Darwin, I've trained. Tra Darwin's one, yeah. of, one of the boys I used to train and Ricky with. Camp and Ricky might have boys trouble as well. traveling, I feel, for I a think, little while. I think he's all right, but he's one, he's one of the boys, you know what I mean? If I can, I'm yeah, not trying. Yeah, but he knows Ricky. Yeah, Ricky's one of the boys. But Mitch is really the only Mitch fight is the fight that makes sense. He's number one. I'm number four. I'm active. I'm coming off. I'm. I want that fight, so you that's, know what I mean? that's your plan, then. You want that fight, then you want to make the jump over, hopefully. Yeah, because I'm hoping, you know, like I said, I give credit where credit's due. Like, he's tough. Like, he's yeah. not he's not no Mark. Like, it's a fucking tough fight, but... Mark I feel, for all you Australians oh, means bitch. Yeah, he's not... He's not he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, not a name. Yeah, Mark, he's not... He's not... He's not one of those guys that, like, can't... Like, he can he can scrap, you know what I mean? He's a yeah, tough yeah, dude. Like, tough I seen What's the war he had like? with Ben. Um, I oh, think he's wait, more, of a, talk about that, more of a yeah, yeah. more of a guy, but yeah. that that's the fight that well, that yeah. we're trying to get. You know what I mean? Tough mm. fight. He's number one. I beat him. I feel that's my that's that's my. I can get signed so off that. If twenty twenty runs, Roger has twenty twenty runs. Fuck it. Roger, I want to fight Mitch. Yeah, run it down. I want to get that fucking that title off him. Be the yep. first one to take it from him. Give Thank him that. Uh, give him that that one loss, and then. I want to get signed. I've been saying it. Like, what I've been you, asking for you, a fucking, you, you, for Auckland. You're gunning, you're gunning UFC. That's what the one Yeah, I want to get, I want to make some money. I want to make some money and we get some proper fights. I would like to fight in the UFC because that's right. been my dream. And especially yeah. since, like, I, I've, I've talked to Simon yeah. and I've cleaned myself up and I'm not doing none of that stuff no more. My dream is to go to the UFC. Oh, yeah, show bro. people that, you know, you could fuck up either your record or your life. I've done both. <laughs> hey, there you go. Hey. And then you could, you could turn it around. You know what I mean? You're not stuck in a mold like you yeah. can always switch it if you put in the work Dude, 100%. so that that's like like sam says we talked about it and simon i tell you when i came here i was i was just fucking drinking and chilling yeah, yeah that's yeah, it yeah. working a little bit now yeah, we, I ain't like, we didn't have training goals we had all right roger like no whiskey till midnight no yeah i was drinking <laughs> eight, eight o'clock in the, the morning you teach Yep. No, you're going to have like three days clean this week. And you'd be like, fuck. Yeah, bro. I was like, what, oh. if what if it's whiskey and coffee? Does that count? <laughs> I was. Yeah, I yeah, walked yeah. past Simon. He's like, are you are you drinking this early? I'm like, fuck, bro. It's been rough <laughs> yeah, on you. You know what I mean? Like, But now it's it's now it's now training. Like, train this morning. Consistent yeah. training. Now I'm going to actually say, hey, take maybe take a day off. Like, yeah. you know, I never thought that that yeah, would never, be. Yeah, never. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, this guy have a drink. Uh, I the guy in his last fight. Props to the guy, too. Comes back and he's on the bike training. Yo, straight yeah. up. Yeah. Straight, hey, I will attest to this. Oh, you can't you, yeah. you, I, I was telling you, fucking Roger, ease up, bro. Pump the brakes. The hay's in the barn. Guy's out. Ice is that guy with that elbow. The next day, I'm in here getting ready for my fight because I, I'm fighting two weeks later. Yeah. Roger's in here jumping into classes and shit. I'm like, bro, you're not taking it. You didn't go out. You didn't go out partying. Nah, know, I, I, said, didn't, what, I didn't party. And I nothing. said, Roger, what are you doing? He said, man, I'm, you straight up said to me. He said, I'm trying to, I'm trying to jump up again. And man, I got mad respect for that, bro. No, I appreciate mad it. Mad yeah, respect, especially no, coming bro. coming from a guy who's had a fucked record as well in yeah. the past. <laughs> and like, you know, man, it's. A, it's easy to get buried on that record and just become that guy that takes those late notice call ups and shit. Like, yeah. you know what? They gonna, they're gonna toss me five G's. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna fly to Russia and go yeah. get this fight. Fuck that, man. You 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 flipped it around and that's good shit. Yeah. And I gotta Simon. 
I gotta tell you, bro. This gym is, is gym has done some shit, bro. For uh, this guy, I can attest to it. Yeah, definitely. I can definitely 100%. attest to it. I mean, I kind of touched on it in my in my uh, my post fight in in uh, Japan, man. Like, I got out here and I thought shit was done. Yeah. I got out here. I thought I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna take some fights. I'm gonna end up doing something else. Like, we'll yeah. get some shit going. Get some and then, money and then fuck you know, you, you get into a good situation and you know, you get the right sort of people around you and the right sort of support. I mean, this gym has done so much. I mean, you can you being from the states and me being from the states, the shit the gym's done to get us to get us our visas to get us that, the visas, get us, but get even jobs. the way that they set up the training, Hell yeah, the bro. the and work that they the, give us, and then the understanding that if I'm like, oh, Simon, you know, I want the, the to vibe, go. Yeah, the vibe yeah, at the absolute vibe, right man. now is yeah. fucking on fire. You can see everything's everything's going in there. Because you understand, you don't have someone who's just like, I don't want to, like, you have someone that has that, fought, has trained, yeah. knows that it's not fucking easy. Like, no. it's hard, and you fall. And I feel you like the, the right egos, people around the to egos pick you up. are dropping off, too, man. Like, I feel like everybody's here for the fucking right reasons right now. Yeah, 100%. And you right. see people in the right, the biggest thing is just getting people in the right headspace when they yeah. walk in the cage. Yeah. If you're in a good spot here, then you That's tend it. to fight. Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't it. have to be... I don't know. Uh, to me, it doesn't have to be. You don't have to be tough and amped up, and you don't have to fucking. You don't have to like. Back almost like you were lying down. Yeah, yeah, fucking have fun while you're I trying. Mean, yeah, yeah, I enjoy. Yeah, it's yeah. hard enough. Of the, the like the looser and that's the more say. fun you're having yeah. going into that, that fight, the better you are. That's yeah. why like like when I corner guys, when I cornered you and shit, what's the last yeah. thing I said to you? Yo, yeah. go have some fucking fun. Yeah, go have yeah. some like, fun. Go, let, let, hey, let's get it's this. A, yeah, let's let's get it, me and Sam talk about it. It's it's just that it's that it's that we call it that that violent rhythm. Like it's not like I'm not in the back. Like I was dancing. Like I'm not when I'm dancing and I'm enjoying myself and I'm actually how I am. Yeah. I'm bet when I'm sour in a bad mood like like the care wave fight yeah, I can't yeah. function no, I don't yeah. I don't function like that you don't that. make the I'm right decisions fight. in yeah. my opinion you tend to make emotional decisions yeah. you get angry respond just like yeah well, you I, can't when, set your traps like, yeah you I can't, know if can't I hear a guy like if I'm yeah. cornering or if I got if I can hear the guy that I'm fighting and you hear him just ripping pads and yelling doing that that type of shit it's like oh this is gonna be a fun fight this dude yeah. this, this, this dude has he's got questions in his brain and he's he's trying to get him out on the pads right now before we yeah. go out. He's trying no. to get him out by yelling yeah, and no, screaming no, no. and shit. Yeah. He ain't ready for this. I saw man. your I saw the video of you. This guy just chilling, lying down, and someone like <laughs> smacking pads in the back. Jace just chilling, like lying, and gets up and does that. Yeah. This yeah. guy in the back, he's just dan dancing around, putting on that yeah. fine china. Yeah. Comes in and does the same thing. And I remember like, you want to be warm, but yeah. 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 don't get me wrong, you want you gotta get a sweat on. By get that. out the cryo I mean, chamber. What, what did I do? I hit probably fucking. Yeah, yeah. Took four yeah. minutes pads. Like, yeah. oh, you know what the thing is that, that, like, that I did an interview about this the other day. Everybody asked about nerves leading into a fight. I feel like all your nerves and everything should be worked out downstairs, out here. It should be worked out in those rounds when you got a fresh guy on you every minute. They should be worked out when you got your face pinned up against the cage and you can't get up. That's when you should be having these mentally draining ass rounds. All the fucking work should be done in here. That's when people should, that's when you should break. That's when you yeah. should do all this. That shit, when you get to fight night, that that's the shit done. That's your party already, man. Look at that yeah. shit. That's your after party yeah. already. Enjoy that's that. That's the fun shit. time. That's what you're that's there to do. Yeah. That's the part. And, and, that's and, the and best part. If you you know when you're backstage and you see these guys in there, they're white knuckling back yeah. there, they're freaking oh. out. It's like, bro, y'all are in the wrong game. Yeah. Like if this shit ain't fun for you, <laughs> there's yeah. no fucking point for it, bro. There's yeah, no point. Like, uh, but I think it's oh, like the other, oh, the other part too. This is my pet peeve in warm-ups. When someone starts giving technical instructions. Oh, yeah. There's nothing worse than that when they're doing gaps. I'm like, no, 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 no. You gotta do. I'm like, dude, whatever he's yeah. got, he's hey, got that. He's yeah. in the barn, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't be like, because yeah. there's nothing worse to put questions yeah, in. Yeah, don't, hey, am I know. doing this wrong? Have I been doing this wrong the whole time? <laughs> do I know nothing? <laughs> like, you know, ah, and you just say, somebody hit me with my blue belt. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, oh, that man. is my pet peeve in warm up. I've it. been on the end where other. Maybe people have jumped in and gone, oh, no, no, you should do it this way in the morning. I'm like, I just fuck off. Fuck. Get the fuck get away from me. Yeah, I know yeah, what yeah. I know, and that's what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I get, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I get a little like nervous, Jake. Yeah. You don't, like it should yeah. be just no new you stuff. don't get nervous at all. I, I like no, to be, no. I get a little bit nervous but in the back, excitement. but it's more like, though. I just get just something, but I feel like as soon as your music comes on and 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 you're walking out, you have to just, it's just, it's embracing that. You like, you have to go from there. Yeah, man, I'm fucking done. For me, it's just for me, it's fun, man. I get to go out and punch somebody in the face. I ain't going to jail. I get to dance in front of forty thousand people. You're good. You know, I like to be honest. I get anxiety, <laughs> yeah. so I get anxiety. Like I, I like to be straight yeah, up. Like man. I'm in the back and I'm I'm Use dancing and having fun. Yeah, and yeah, then I'll yeah. have a little bit, a little of, bit a of that little, yeah. But then as soon as that's why I pick a song, I don't pick like a fucking angry that's song. That's why your team matters. Yeah, too. you don't want people in the back that's gonna be stressing you more. Just lose it, bro. This yeah, you, you want dudes that will fucking let you work. I tell you what, Sam just hit the nail on the head though. There's nothing worse than having somebody backstage that you can see their 
fucking freaking out oh, and they're nervous. Oh, they're like, bro, you you gotta get out of here right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 need Vacate. go go sit outside because you are fucking me up right yeah, now. Yeah. This is we're gonna be fine. That's why yeah. like <laughs> like like Bobby when I was at Wollongong it was it wasn't it wasn't bad that he was there because Bobby's like chill, relaxed. Yeah. If you guys don't know Bobby's this MMA. Weapon. Yeah, <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Knuckles. Bobby's Bobby. six foot ten and fifty one kilos. <laughs> hey, but I'm giving Bobby a string with shit. Yeah, hey, he's, he's, Bobby is the only legit. man I've ever seen who is un 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 shoulder chokeable. <laughs> you <laughs> cannot hit a shoulder <laughs> choke on that man. But he's also but this. But what Sam is saying is Bobby's a stand up comedian. Yeah. So, but, but he's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a cat. You have him back. He's funny. He's you, you have him backstage. Keep you loose. Like when I'm in yeah. Japan, I got my homie Gibby from back home. Yeah. Just big fat black dude with dreads lives in Japan, and it's That's hilarious it. that he lives in Japan. <laughs> yeah. but he's backstage with us. He doesn't even come out for the fight. He just hangs out backstage <laughs> just, just to just shit. crack jokes. And exactly. Chop it up. Bring me. He and brings me beer. <laughs> That's but good though. That's that makes me feel good. Oh man, but um, yo, so fighting's the fun part is what you get out that. That's the fun part. The hard work should be done at the at back the in the gym training. Yeah, you get man. to the day, it's like yeah, fucking it's a good day, bro. Good day. Having the right, the, yeah. the right people around you though. That's the that's the key. Hard work. Also, the right people on the right level that you are too. Like you don't want the guy trying to amp you up. Come on, fuck, get angry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you're not that guy. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. You got that dude that's yelling at you. That dude trying to slap you in the face. Oh, don't slap me. I'm sitting back there trying to dance. Trying to dance and relax, right? No slap. George and Trent like going, "Can we slap you?" And I'm like, "What? What? What?" And then they're like. Start slapping me, I go because I'm the whitest man alive with these big No, that's not me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Anyway, no, I just right. joined to, uh, to Simon. Oh, what he's done, an absolute no, so props. Cheers, so. brother. Yeah. Uh, so my other mom. <laughs> he's just like, move on. He's a dirty dog. All right, so. We'll go on to, so we've also done Dan Howard with his work at that. Uh, the other thing is obviously just quickly mention the, the milestones for BJJ. I've mm. got all the Lockie and Craig stuff. So obviously Craig getting silver at ADC, massive highlight. Lockie getting br open weight bronze, massive. I feel also when he ran through the team at Kinetic, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Submitting the whole team, that was pretty uh, That was pretty yeah, crazy. Yeah. That, that, that was uh, amazing. And, then, and Craig's just He did take out an entire team at Kinetic, didn't he? He just did yeah, the yeah, whole, all the heavyweights. No, Rick over nobody got to play. Yeah, what yeah. a dick. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> But the other guy still got paid. Oh, so so yeah. Yeah, Good on right. you, Logan. Yeah, so I think that Good was on you, right. LaShawn. Um, uh, <laughs> LaShawn deals. Also with ADCC, the guys, good effort to have like five guys qualified. <laughs> that's, so a, ben, that's massive, bro. So Ben Hodgins and Liv... Uh, ben Hodgins got... Uh, uh, Gordon Ryan first round, so I had a... It's a rough go. It's a rough go, bro. Tough draw. And, uh, and Liv bar. got a um, girl that went on... Sidebar. Is Gordon Ryan retired? Uh, no. I think that's, so. Didn't he say that? Or is that he a did, I, I reckon he'll do other stuff. I don't know what like I can say because I suck. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's still got two more things booked, I think, for this year. I think he's reducing his load. Okay. Okay, cool. He's going to do big boy things. What's that, sorry? He's going to do big boy things. Yep. Oh, shit. Sorry, sorry. Yep. Yep. Okay. Retired from the uh, Anywho, back to our team. Um, yeah, so anyway, I think actually the, the fifth one to qualify, which I don't know if you know is under us, was Kit, Kit Dale got an invite, okay. but he didn't really... Like, I caught up with him over there. He, he's the funniest dude. Like, he doesn't actually... He in the end pulled out because he said, I don't really train. He probably trains once a week or, yeah. you know, once a fortnight. He, and he'd still sadly be very competitive, probably. He never really I've heard trained. from everyone how fucking good that guy is and strong. Kit, Kit is very good. Yeah. And, like, and could be, could have been even better. Like, you know, because he got into he his acting and DVD yeah, selling and, acting, and right, sure, internet yeah. marketing. So he got into D&D? DVDs. DVDs. Oh, DVDs. DVDs. Oh, God damn, you get you guys are nerds. He's so believable. I think he was in just He, like, I've got videos of him. Magic the Gathering. He used to bring nunchucks to practice his nunchucks after jiu-jitsu class. I've got a video of him, like, yeah. Oh, man. Anyway, so, but that was really good to get all those guys qualified. Yeah, man. Seriously, if you really take a look at it, like, it was a massive fucking year for Absolute between between Lockie doing the, just being a straight giant that man's a legend now. Yeah. Craig doing Craig things all around the world. Craig yeah. Jones, fucking America right now. And yeah. then, uh, I mean, like just the, the MMA side too. Yeah, I mean. so just to like, hide that. So we had 20 wins. The team went at a, 20 wins and four losses in the pros. That's outstanding. For the year. So, and that? that's also, and of the four losses, not to focus on the four losses, one split decision, uh, two decisions and one cut, uh, cut stoppage. No one got submitted. No one got knocked Damn. out for a year in 24 fights, which is pretty yeah. good. And on the flip that's side, we had uh, 20 wins. I think we finished 16. 
Tell you what, absolute, we um, be finishing. Watch out. Um, so, watch that, out. so that was good. And that, in amateurs, I think we went 29, 20. Don't pull out, we finish it. Like it's still good. I mean, I remember you but said. I, I, I'm not. Because like, we're not. Amateurs. It, I'll put guys, if line. you've had two or three wins, I'm trying to get you, not trying to get you a loss, but I'm Tough trying fight. to get you the hardest fight yeah, yeah. I can possibly get. Yeah, if you've gone 0 2 as an amateur, then I'll try and find you a more. Like, but it's about giving you the experience, experience you need. And that's to get the results not. Pro. Yeah, that's correct. the main goal is to go. I want your last pro. two amateur fights to be harder than your first two yeah. pro. Yeah. That, that no, I think that's that's a good outlook because no. like it's like we were talking about earlier with Sam on that Wollongong fight. Like, you want, you want to run into those bullshit, those, those brick walls that, you know, whether it be a fight that you're not quite ready for stylistically or the chance of you getting fucked over in a hometown, you want yeah. that to happen on your AMI record where shit don't mean shit. Because yeah. if that happens on your pro record, the likelihood of getting a bad decision turned over or yeah. if you take a tough fight and you take an L when you shouldn't have taken it. And that dude's going to go pro shit. too. That, that's yeah. that thickness. You can't, yeah. He, you know, after when he turns pro, I know Sam, wants to, run, Sam, Sam wants to run that back, back a little bit. Let's yeah. go. Run it back. Yeah. So and the other thing, sadly, also, to, like, I shouldn't say, but as a pro, it actually, like, when I'm now trying to turn him pro, it makes it a little bit easier to get him. Like, yeah, if he's 5 and 0 versus 4 and 1. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, he might get, if he win, if he, the decision goes the other way, yeah. it's actually, because then they're looking at, do I fight Colby or do I fight Sam? They probably go, oh, well, Colby boys. beats him, so I'll pick Sam. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's All right. And that. then, hey, look, let's close this fucker out. But look, before we go, coming up in the UFC, because goddamn it, everybody only cares about the UFC for some reason. It's unfortunate because they have the worst rule set and uniforms in the world. Shout out to soccer kicks. Uniforms. <laughs> Shout out to soccer. Shout out to soccer kicks. <laughs> Don't listen to Jake's on me. I want to. I think for UFC. Uniform. Hashtag. Uh, uh, this, but uh, was it? It's, ne it's, it's next weekend, the McGregor mm -hmm. and Cerrone fight. Yeah. I'm curious what y'all think about that you one. You already know where I'm yeah. going. I'm going McGregor. <laughs> McGregor, 100%, 100%. I say it. Do you think there's any way Connor or uh, Cowboy can get around it? I I think that uh, I think that uh, Cowboy, if he can take it into deep water, because they're fighting at 100, they're fighting at 170 pounds with 77 kgs. Connor showed a lack of a gas tank at that weight class, and. Let's not forget, Cerrone is an ace on the ground when he wants to be. The man's a high level. He's a high level grappler. He just doesn't use it because he's out there to fucking put butts in seats. And he's unfortunately already said he's just going to go out and kickbox. Yeah. <laughs> if Cerrone goes out and kickboxes, everyone's like, it's not a great night. I think Connor will drop him. Connor? 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 Connor. Connor? Yeah. Fuck it. I'm going against the herd. USA all the way. Cowboy Cerrone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Guys, hey, look, before we wrap this thing up completely, I just want to touch one more time. We've got the fundraiser, the fundraiser at Absolute MMA St. Kilda. Got the got the 12th. So that's this weekend, right? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's 50 bucks. Guys, come out, help out any little thing you can, anything little thing you can toss to get these fires and stuff under control. Help out the guys who are fighting these fires. Everything helps. I'm I'm not Australian, but I live out here. And man, this shit is uh this shit's heavy. So let's um Let's do everything we can to get this stuff going, yeah. man. And keep an eye on our page for updates on Sai. On Sai as well. There'll be some events coming up for that too. And on top of that, keep your eyes on Absolute MMA in 2020 because we're coming to take this bitch we over. We pull out <laughs> and we finish early. Yeah. yeah. That's, it. That's right. Finish gang. <laughs> anyway, Absolutely. guys, for uh, Raja, Sam, and Simon, I'm a honey bear. This has been absolutely honey unnecessary. Cheers. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Mm -hmm. Run that, run that.